Sunfall here with a guide for the last dead end. I'll be covering all the achievements in this video. So starting off, we want to start a new game. This section is pretty linear. We just want to basically get to the end part. You can't run, you do have to deal with the walking. It's never good when lights turn out like that. Hello, pizza man! just got knocked out. Then we want to follow this way. We're still in the starting section. <coughs> Kitty! There's a murder right there we gotta disturb. The pack of crows. <laughs> Get ready because we're about to hit some button prompts. <laughs> Alright, I was too early. The button prompts aren't yet. <laughs> but we get to wake up to see our face, so. That was scary, right? There will be a lot of walking in this game just so you're aware. Brilliant VIP restaurant. <laughs> Unusual name for a restaurant but okay. Alright, now that we've spawned in, you want to head straight. Ignore the conference room finding. You want to open this door on your right. And then it's this book here you want to look at. I was trying to figure it out. That'll get you your first achievement. Scientist. Then we want to continue on. You can run by holding down, I think it's LT. And now we got another encyclopedia. So we want to continue on. Head to your right. 
And at this door. Climb the stairs. Interact with the door again. Ignore the current call thing. At least we can run. Imagine walking this, so it would be so slow. Conference room, so push Y to open the door again. We can skip the cutscene. You can watch it if you like, it's your game. But I'm skipping it for the purpose of a guide. Left stick in, and then I'll use the Smarty, which is shows you your health bar and a few other gauges. See you later, mate. Behar is not changed almost, although she became even prettier. Now we gotta get to the ruins. Evening, officer. I'm trying not to get lost here. Because as you can see, we have no map. So I am trying to guide you without getting lost. You want to go down this section. Now it looks like a dead end, but trust me, it's not a dead end. Now if you look to your left here, and you go down there, you'll get a fun little cutscene. It's nothing with achievements, so I won't do it, but if you do it, you'll get to see it, and that way it's a surprise, rather than me doing it and ruin it for you. I did like the cutscene, it was cool. And we've made our first well. You'll be seeing a lot of wells. I should say well, you'll be seeing a lot of wells. <laughs> There's something in the water. What the hell? It is unbelievable. I am holding real Avesta, and and not a usual one. Genus and Ness and Name. Yes, my ancestors were Zoroastrians, and, and my surname is Novras. But what is it to be the Chosen? The war between good and evil is coming. But what does that have to do with me? And that pack of crows we disturbed earlier, getting their vengeance, which is fair, we did disturb them. After we've pushed Y twice, we'll be in the next level after this cutscene loads up. Now the game is dark unless I use my torch. I try my best to remember to use my torch because I want to guide you as best I can. So if occasionally I forget, I do apologize. Now, this will be our first collectible. You just have to look at it. I turn off my torch so you can see it better. And once it scans through, that counts. Now I'll head back this way. Sometimes even having the flashlight on, as you can tell, it's still dark. 
And there's, I don't think, if I remember correctly, there's no settings to change the darkness. Rocking chair with music, not creepy at all. Birds. This building you can go through, so just be careful. As I'll show you. See? It's a hollow building for some reason. So just be careful. I wasn't paying attention when I first was setting up this guide and went through and fell off the map. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell? So yeah, go past the glitchy building. Behind. And this girl will run past. We want to go where she came from because there's a collectible. And somebody digging in the trash apparently. Someone just threw glass on our face. That would have cut deep. <laughs> There's another one here. Collectible. I will show you how to get it if you can't do this. But you can angle yourself. You've got to get the camera just right. And when you do, it'll pop up like that. And you can scan it. The guy to our left here. Walk up to him. And he'll do something really cool. Again, not an achievement, so I won't show you, but... We want to go down this way. Through the tunnel of love. There's our lovely at the end. I know, I forgot to do the dishes. I'm sorry. We'll be going through that gate, but first... Go up these stairs on your right. And the collectible is just here. Now this scene, I gotta admit, is kinda cool. What the hell? What is going on? And here we are. Went in the circle, but we're going next. And now the last light has ran out. There's two modes of attack you can do, a light attack and a heavy attack, as they talk about. You can't break the boxes, unfortunately. It would have been cool if you could have. I tried. We've got a cutscene to deal with where we push buttons for the book again. Damn. I would like to stay alive after all. It is time to leave from here quickly. Now, if you go right here, you can scan it originally, and right again, the last that is where the collectible is, is into the to well. scan properly. Are the wells similarities of portals? If it is so, then I have to find it. <laughs> Don't want to go down that alleyway. I was going the wrong way. Okay, I won't go that way. Alright, be prepared. The first uh, QTE is coming up. Just making sure I don't miss any uh, collectibles for you guys. I know there's one around here. So this is the first QTE. Hit RT. Mm. 
that's that's skill. We did it. Now the game gives us every achievement as a reward. <laughs> no, we still got plenty of time to play it. Uh, now there will be a collectible if you turn around and look up after the QT. That should get us the first of linguists for getting all the text in the alleys of the city. How many of you dark creatures are here? I just saw a werewolf, so I'd say a few. This will be another QTE, so be aware of that. Hit LT. RT. B. X. A. And dive in a well. Skip the cutscene with Y. Again, like I said, your choice. You want to watch it, watch it. I won't deny you that. I just skip it to make this relatively less painful for you guys. And here are the lions guarding the bull. This is the symbol of the old city. Two lines are fortifications guarding the bull, the city. The two circles are the sun and the moon. That means guarding day and night. So, does that mean that mission is here? Press Y again. Not sure why I'm taking so long to push Y. <laughs> I might have been having a drink at the time. Don't go the wrong way like I did. I meant to go this way. And I hit a dead end. This is why I said it does get a little confusing because there is no map. I was trying my best to guide you guys without getting lost. There we go, found my way. There'll be another cutscene. Again, you can skip it or you can watch it. Cho choice is yours. Guy selling pots there. At least the barriers help me tell when I'm not going. No, I don't need to go that way. Very hard to see gap right there on that fence. Here we go, we finally made the main street. We did it guys. Congrats. Grab the glowing red key.
And as we've just been told, open the well. Well, 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 well. You'll be seeing a lot of wells. And there we go. That's this one done. I hope I will get there I need. Catacombs. Time is unknown. Now we get some monster fighting in. Remember to push Y to interact with the cutscene. So, the apocalypse. Well, I was right. So, I am the chosen. Have to enter the decisive fight with evil on December 21st, 2012 in this ancient city. That is all. Almost all the parts in the puzzle are in place. And what's next? Again, push Y. It seems to me that all I've endured in the dark world is only the beginning. Even though I'm not ready to the decisive fight, there is no way back. But before the fight, I have to pay the last debt to Mother. Skip the cutscene. Or not, like I said. Now when you see that guy run, There'll be another collectible. You pretty much can see it when you turn the corner. Right here. Once it's decrypted. We can move on. Right here we'll get a gun. And then crushed by boulders. Not actually cross, we just get we just fall down, but still. Yeah, as soon as you load up, turn around and this text will be here. Now we wanna maximize our kills to get the most achievements. So what you'll be seeing me do is deliberately activating parts to get achievements. The first one's the snake here. And we want to try and get a headshot on the snake. I'll get you your first kill with this pistol. Then when we go over here, ignore the falling down thing. We go up these stairs here and it'll activate the second snake. That's two kills with this pistol. And then over to our right here. The door, we go in here. And through this door will be, well not one. Oh, okay, only one. I thought that'd be two snakes. That's three snake kills with the pistol. We see those two snakes we didn't have to activate, but we want to maximize kills, so we're activating them. You have to be careful of the blue. Blue bars your stamina. There'll be a collectible right here. So don't forget to scan that. Snakes only take one bullet, but they are hard to hit. 
It's the other creatures that you want to headshot. These guys. If you can headshot them with one shot, you only need one bullet. That'll get you the maker headshot. Sometimes they will be a bit tricky like that. You just gotta wait them out. And if you think you can get it, go for it. They do drop ammo and stuff, health, so you can pick that up. You wanna run and then head right and get this guy. Don't head straight, save that bad guy for another instance. You want to head right where I'm right heading. We're saving the bad guy if we head straight for another weapon. The witch knocking us out. straight all the way to the end and there'll be a um, dead guy on your right basically but also in his cell a collectible you want to interact with this lever pull the lever crunk that'll also get you an achievement oh no that's a delayed achievement for the headshots oh well, that's good Why we're aiming for headshots, by the way. There should be a second zombie after him. You can hear the pitter patter of their feet. That should get you Marikov Master. Killing 10 enemies with the pistol, so now we can swap weapons. For now, we've only got the battle axe, so that's what we'll focus on using. You can kill them with the battle axe, you just have to hit them in the head with it. It can be a little tricky. But like I said, we're maximizing kills for achievement potential. You want to run straight past this bit, you don't want to stop for the bad guys. Because I've got a better weapon in mind. You do want to kill the snake though. Once you get here, cutscene will activate. Because we'll be able to use the melee weapon to kill other things. What I'm trying to get you is another gun. And keep bad guys for it. Step onto this. And then go around the bad guy. And into this cell. You really did not want to go away, that zombie. There we go, we got it. Right, and he finally got caught on something, so... Now we've got the Nagant, so we're going to get kills with the Nagant. That's why we just swapped out the weapon we swapped out. There's also a collectible here. And some health for all our trouble. I know it's only one kill and it seems insignificant, but it's not, trust me. The other one didn't follow us. There he is. So we can get a headshot on him. Oh. 
or not, be completely terrible and miss every thing, single headshot, and just go for body shots. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. And this is why we saved this spot. Nice, easy snake kill. And a full health potion. So after all our trouble, we didn't lose anything. Now you want to go this way. This will be the next part of the level. Once we interact with that door, we can't go back. There'll be a few zombies in here. Get you the sniper achievement. I mean, you might have got it earlier for getting 10 headshots. That's why I said you want to maximize headshots. Not only do they kill them one hit, but I mean, it saves you ammo. There's nothing in this area, so you want to just head straight. And then head down here. <laughs> Weird ghosty thing floats towards you. I reload every time just to be safe because there are a few enemies and you don't want to be caught out with no ammo. And that gets us to the Gaunt Master so I can just change weapon rather than kill him. I don't want to waste a kill. Back away as you're attacking them because that way they can't actually hit you. They will drop health occasionally as well. But that's the killing 10 enemies with Nagant, Nagant monster, done. So, we don't have to use it now, we can use the battle axe. <laughs> when you go over to the left here, there will be a collectible and a snake also appears. And that will get you the last collectible of this level for Linguist in the catacombs, deciphering all the text. There'll be a few snakes when we go around the corner here. They come behind you. And then they got other bad guys. And that'll get us the battle axe. Master achievement for killing 10 people with an axe. So that's three weapons, three achievements already, and we haven't even finished the level fully. So now we can swap back to the Nagant. Because we don't have to worry about killing anything with the battle axe. The rectile is very hard to aim sometimes. Sometimes it's easier just to shoot a body shot and let the force push you up to the head. So I just did that. The battle axe is for the snakes that are about to come down the stairs. Saves your bullets. Because the snake is easy to kill with the battle axe. And you just gotta back away from them. And you won't be hit. And now we can just run straight. There is no more collectibles. As we got the achievement for that. And we can activate the cutscene. And into the, to the next part. I'd hope you know how to swim. It 
Isn't he lucky that grate was just so easy to come off? Normally those things are like melted on there and then to top it off, rusted on. Possible to grab off. And look, we just climbed out of a well. Wellity, wellity. Probably. I'm in the Divahane of the Shirvan Shaks Palace. Fight with the evil forces come to the end? I'd say no. Ah, I got cheery too early. Most likely, I'm here to look for signs. More than likely. I want to head this way. All these stones are lifted from the flooded Sabil castle with an ulterior motive. Perhaps the signs are concealed in them. Dragon and Zoroastrianism is an evil symbol. The sun is the symbol of the forces of good defeating darkness. So that's three of them. Now we get the fourth. We just go back the way we came and then turn left instead of going right. See left down here and then turn right and this is the last one. The sword symbolizes fight. Fight between good and evil. Only the fourth symbol, which will perhaps prompt where the decisive fight takes place, is missing. Seems it is still in the Sung Sabale Castle. Though maybe some stones remained in the ruins of the bathhouse of Shervenshaw's palace. Can't interact with the cat, sadly. This game would have been much better if you could interact with animals. I mean, every game is better if you can interact with the animals. But we're going to have our first boss fight. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by Kitty. I did have to mute the boss fight because the game's sound audio. It might happen to you. Uh, it just completely stuffed up. During the fight of the boss. Now the weak spot. You see, you had to meet the game audio due to an audio bug in the game. The weak spot of the um, Nusant Magant. With the Nusant Magant, I should say, not of. <laughs> You're not shooting the pistol. Um of the werewolf is his tail so you want to try and shoot between his legs or at his leg and that'll do the most damage now when you get low health like I have and you got a breather you just run for some health which is just over here it's all over the map, so, I mean, you literally just have to w run away for health. There are uh, the bad guys, too, so just be aware of that. The best health is right here, though. Unfortunately, he cornered me, so I've got no choice but to keep aiming for the tail and hope that I can get some good shots in. Oh, 
I literally only have the battle axe left now. Because I'm out of ammo. Genius game there. And I'm very low health. The collectible is up on your left here, but we're not going to worry about that yet. Get ourselves some health first so we can fight this werewolf with the battle axe since we haven't got ammo. I mean, what game doesn't give you enough ammo? There is a trick to hitting him with the battle axe. So, when he slashes, you want to... Wait till he slashes and then slash him. That's how I just got him. It is tricky, like I said, it is a trick. But it's because when he slashes at you, it knocks you back. So you've got to try and time it so that... That's why I got hit a couple of times the first time. you got to time it so that when he slashes at you, you've got the time to back away. But at the same time, go forward to get him in that brief window of opportunity. Now we're heading to the collectible. I showed you the door where we started, so you knew where the collectible was. And then, yeah, literally right here. And that'll get you the linguist for the bathhouse, because this is the only collectible in the boss fight. Why would you put a collectible in the boss fight? I don't know. And now, before we go on to the next level... Deal with these monsters. We want to get the health. And I went to leave the level after I got that health, because I'm like, I was happy with that health. You know, I figured maybe the level will start me with more health. And then I got told, you have to kill all the enemies. So, figured go get the rest of the health, and we might find the enemies along the way. That's ammo, but not for my gun. <laughs> it's ammo for the other pistol. I thought that was very funny. Hopefully my battle axe trick will tell, help you though, if you run out of ammo. Or maybe you got better shots than I did on his tail. Ah, oh, there we go. Text to encyclopedia was added, means the level's done. So you can head down the well. And that'll get you Helsing for beating the werewolf. Okay, the sound is back on now. Ah, the castle. I remember this level. So I do make a um, slight cut in my video here because I do sort of forget a collectible. I have to go back for it later, but I wanted to show you where it was straight away. When you walk through that gate that we're seeing right now, you want to head right and then you'll see the collectible. I walked right past it, and forgot about it. Oh, I haven't made the cut yet. Okay, then. There it is. That's the text I'm talking about. It's right near the entrance where you start. You'll see me get the linguist for Sable Castle, but you'll be getting it after I cut back. So that's... Scene, and she steals the Shmoodle. Here it is, the missing stone. The drawing on it reminds the symbol of Buddha. What does this sign mean? There are only the stones, ruins, and towers around. Towers. Yes, the towers! The view of the Maiden Tower from above reminds Buddha. It means that the main battle will be exactly there. And now it is left to find out when it happens. Now we gotta interact with the book again.
the crows are attacking us, so what we're going to do is aim in the sky once we find them. Right, there he is. And then knock him down. And then I'll stop them from bugging you and attacking you and whittling your health down. Yeah, uh, the collectible is here. I think that's the last collectible, so that should get you the collectible for this mission. And then the shotgun. We want the shotgun. That'll get us... Now I'm happy. For finding the shotgun. That's the cut from me going back to get the collectible, by the way. So yeah, that second one is definitely the one that would have got you that achievement for finding them all. So this is the boss fight. We're going to do a couple of things. It may appear silly, but it's going to save us a ton of time. We're going to be getting two achievements. One for the shotgun and one for the skimeter. Now you're probably wondering, Sudden, how did we get the skimeter? It got taken away from us in a cutscene. Well, you'll see. Sudden figured out something for you. So start the boss fight. We wanted to summon, so we're not firing. But then she only threw balls at me, so I fired. There we go. That's what I wanted. Three with one bullet. And two more. Shoot her so that she spawns more, basically. I needed more ammo. And it didn't drop me ammo for the shotgun. Two. Try and line up these two. Now it doesn't matter if we die. That, that was for killing 10 enemies with shotgun, that's what we were working on. Killing the witches counts, by the way. So now we want to return to the menu, because we don't need to see ourselves be killed, and go continue game. This is what Sudden was talking about, when Sudden said he has a way to get the Skamita kills. Because look what we load up when we continue the game with. The witch stole it away from us, and continuing the game brought it back. Now this is the tricky part, you gotta beat her with this. Now you wanna aim for the one that has the uh, green necklace basically, or the green glowing thing. She's the legit witch. There she is, see her on her left, the one with the green. I wanted to do some decent damage so that way when I focused on these kills. I didn't have to worry about my health too much. Yeah. 
This will actually save you a lot of time because you don't have to repeat um, a chapter just to play with the Skamita. You don't have to earn the Skamita. And there we go, our Skamita kills so we can finally end this witch. Just barely, but I did it. Ended it all with the sword. <laughs> so if I can do it, you can do it too. But that got us the 10 kills with the sword. Reason we did the shotgun first is because if you don't, um, as soon as you push a button to change weapon, where am I? What is going on? As soon as you change a weapon, you'll lose your skimeter. You cannot change a weapon while doing it. And so now we just beat the second boss, which is the witch. I just realized that the witch was straight after the werewolf. That's a bit weird, but is what it is. So yeah, as I was saying, because you might not have heard me because of the cutscene, um, if you change a wep your weapon when you have this committee, you instantly lose it and you have to do the continue thing again. So make sure you do not swap weapons and you only try and kill with that skimeter. It saves you a ton of time because then when you do get the skimeter, you don't have to worry about killing with it or continuing into a new game or anything. Sudden fall glitch for the win. Yay. Okay, so we're in the next part of the level. Damn, that dark world does not release me. Can't you say it more like Batman? Damn, the dark world won't let me go. Probably a bad Batman impression, but hey. At least I try. So now we got the shotgun. But we're not going for kills, we're going for these fire barrels. And they're very hard to hit. Like I said, maximizing kills for achievement potential. I'm waiting for the guys to come. And I think he's close enough to fire, and look at this. I got one kill. <laughs> uh, so I'm aiming at this one, and I fire, and I get nothing. But I'll get you your first one for getting a fire kill, by the way, which is fire starter. But we still have to get another fire kill. So I hide near the box for the next one. And he starts running at a wall, so... I I've get rid of the achievement for us. There we go, got him. That's two kills with fire. Okay, we'll try this fire device again. I even try using iron sights, but it's just so wonky to try and aim. <laughs> and then with no choice, I have to kill him. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. There is health here, but birds will attack you. Just be aware of that. So up to your axe, figure out where they are. Once you find them. <laughs> you can knock them down. There's only the one. Yeah, I can never seem to find their bodies when I do it, but yeah. It's one less to deal with. See how he just got dropped a couple of shotgun shells? Thanks, buddy, that helps out. But see, they do drop ammo occasionally for your gun. 
Now you want to turn left here, I think. No, you. Just looking around. Yeah, you. You want to go this way. Sorry. Go right. I'm trying to memorize where everything is. Oh, like I said, I'm trying to maximize for you, so we don't waste time. So that cutscene, he just killed a bunch of zombies. Good for us. And our first collectible. He's just easier to deal with a battle axe. Be careful, because I have had him appear behind me a couple of times. This part can be... I wouldn't say tricky. I have to find another way to return and to meet with Bahar to learn from her about Stone Clock. She has to know about it. I wouldn't say tricky, but... Uh... It can be interesting, the part that's coming up. Um, you want to go down here because there's a collectible on the wall. There's actually two collectibles we'll be getting, I think. I can see one in the distance. Aim at that one. And uh, the one in the distance we have already, so we're moving on. So there's one. Sorry about that. Now this part here, there's one on the left. Just up here. I turn off my flashlight and on my flashlight so you can see them. For this next one, unfortunately, that trick will not work because it is placed through the wall. See? It's near this bin. Which this fire thing is, and this... See? I've just done a circle so you know what it looks like. Now, I don't often show stuff out of the map. Um... But I wanted to show you like a circle so you knew what to look for. This is what I was talking about. They're about to circle us. See, I deliberately waited because I knew there were snakes coming. And that gets you pyromaniac. Maniac. Now I just have to kill the rest. That's for killing five enemies with explosions. So now we don't have to worry about that. Now this is what I wanted to show you. It's slightly out of the map. Uh, and out of our way. It's just for fun, but look. It's Slender Man. Thought that was kind of cool. Get a little Slender guy in here. I was deciding whether or not to kill those ones because they can catch up sometimes. I just decided not to. You want to go this way? Sorry, not this way. You want to go this way. That's where it is. Collectible, right here. Health thing here, if you need it. It's not much of one, but it's still some health at least. Now you'll get ambushed here. One on your right and one on your left. What you want to do is shoot the one in front of you and then move backwards. And then also you can get the two here with one bullet. I was unlucky, and this guy was taking three bullets. I think close range shotgun would didn't take that much. But there is health here if you get caught out by them both. Well, I should say by them three, because there is three of them. And the guy from earlier, like I said, that I ignored, caught up. 
And he decided he wanted to take a bunch of bullets. So now I'm left with two ammo. Thanks, guys. Real generous of you. This part I know there's going to be a bunch of animals, so I'm um, aiming for the fire thing pretty much as I'm walking. And there we go. Now back away while you're aiming for it. As soon as you see the heads of them all, fire. And if you didn't have Pyromaniac, you will now because that was literally five snakes or four snakes. So if you got at least one of the bad guys before. The reason I did that was because I literally didn't have the ammo to spare. I really don't know why they added the crows. They are just annoying. Especially when you're trying to deal with these guys. Now I gotta try and figure out where he is. And I can hear the pitter patter of feet getting closer to me. There he is. And I missed him. Missing that time. Backing away while hitting is always effective. That's why I do it. And when you've got no ammo for your guns, it's the only way you can fight. Sorry about that. Oh, there it is. Collectible. Just on the wall here. That's the last collectible of this level for Linguist Streets of Old City. Now we've got another boss fight. Now we've got the battle axe, but he's actually not that bad with the battle axe. What you want to do is run around behind him. Unfortunately, I was very bad at it the first time. Once you're behind him, you can get a swing out or two in. Watch your stamina and your health. And now that I'm on one bar, I'm running to get some health. Because I'm away from him, he went to run at me. I see some more health, which I didn't know was there. So I run for that. Because of the distance we have, he's going to charge at me. But I got behind him, and there we go. Death by battle axe to the Cyclops. Now we're on to the next level, Central Streets. You know, the drill, you can either skip it or watch it.
Another cutscene that we can skip or watch. And now we get to find a bass. Still sad I can't pack cats. Putting them in the game taunts me. Nice, easy, breezy level. Two cutscenes and we just have to go to the objective. Before we go to the objective though, if you have a look on the wall to your right, another little spray tag they added, which was, I thought was kind of funny. I'm so tired. Still a time before the decisive battle. I need to take a rest. Yes, I'll just sleep on this stone slab. I think that's not going to be good for your back. Damn, it'll soon be nine o'clock. There's little time left. I don't know what he picked out to check then, because there's nothing the in his hands. <laughs> But whom do I fight with? I'm literally saying to myself all the time, flashlight, flashlight, so that way I remember to turn it on for you guys. Don't run into the fire, I warn you, and I will repeat it, do not run into the fire. When you see those creatures spawn, stay away from the fire. Favorite snakes. left and then we're gonna have a funny glitch happen <laughs> his model stayed back there for a few seconds for some reason like loaded back in that's why I was in the T position that's how it's placed in any game and now we got some snakes that spawn around the corner Behind us, of course. And birds flying down and attacking us. Luckily, we can see them this time. We just have to wait for them to come into view. And we got one. Just have to wait for the other now. And that's two. Now this collectible was the hardest one I've ever had to look for. Invisible because it's behind the wall again. Just up here. That collectible took me the longest time to find. The placement for some reason was placed behind it. Like the glowing text was placed behind the wall texture. So you can't see it. But it is there. You just gotta angle yourself to aim at it. And that's all we went that way for. The hidden collectible. <laughs> I 
when we go up this way, there'll be another collectible, but some snakes appear first that we have to deal with. One behind the car and one behind the wall. Now we can get this collectible. Now we uh, want to walk forward and then run away. The reason for this is as soon as the troll appears, or Cyclops, three snakes appear behind you. And they eat your health, like majorly. But you don't have a gun to shoot them. As you can see, I'm on one bar of health from those three snakes. Like, the hell. And I still have the rest of the level to go. I really didn't understand the health placement in this level, it was, uh, it was bad. And look, I got ammo in my gun now. Would've been nice to know that. <laughs> and now we want to get the collectible here, so for this part, what you want to do is you want to wait near the explosive there, because we are going to be doing a dash. We're not, with one health, we're not going to be making it if we do not do this, so let your energy fully mer fully get up because as soon as we, we move forward we're going to be running we're going to be ignoring all the bad guys getting collectibles and just bolting for it this will spawn a heap of bad guys now there's health on your right you want to quickly pick those up you do have time so don't panic and then on your left is the collectible we decrypt it and then keep going you want to turn right and on your left, you'll see the next collectible. That should be the last collectible. Yep, there we go. That's the last collectible for this level, so now you just want to run for it. That's for decrypting all the text in this level, so... Yay us. And now we've got another boss fight. And we skipped fighting all the bad guys that just spawned, so, you know, saved ourselves some time. Because a few times I went through that, I ended up with one health and I just could not beat all those bad guys, so that's why I formed that method of run, collect, and run. <laughs> Basically what you want to do is you want to um, keep attacking him. There is no real strategy other than just keeping attacking him. And that'll get you Master of Duel when you defeat him. Dark Sinner is now defeated. Well, it is enough. I hope I defeated all the creatures of darkness. Press Y to continue. Damn, seriously? One more enemy? There was a surprising image of the sky. It turns out that I am, as the, as the guard, protecting the maiden, or a maiden tower, from an angry dragon. Dragon? Well, I just caused a disaster over my... The dragon don't care that you cause a disaster. Now we're in the Maiden Tower. Yay! We're so close to finishing our first... 
fight of the boss, because we have to repeat the boss fight a second time. Because this game has two endings. Go up the stairs. And be prepared, there's going to be a uh, QTE soon. So you push LT. RT. <coughs> RT again. That was another RT one. Now LT. RT. LT. And then we can dash up there. On your right will be the only collectible of this level. And that'll get you the linguist for Maiden Tower. And now we have our first dragon fight. You want to use this to hide from the fire, this um, stairwell, basically. Because when the dragon comes, he will use fire. And when the dragon drops down, you can for it. I'm gonna try and head to its side to get its legs. I literally ran out of energy for that last hit, otherwise I would have go gone in first go. And I would have been so happy. But no, no. Typical game fashion. I lost major health. I decided to try to shoot him. Didn't work when I shot him in the air. So, I mean, I just waited till he landed then. And he only had a smidge of health. Why did I need to run in there? It'll ask you to hit the button prompt of the PlayStation 4 controller um, rather than the button prompts of the uh, Xbox the controller. For the de decision I time, when it comes up, of Arman. But then, you were risking your life. You were in hell, were watching into monsters' eyes. And what next? Who will learn about your act of bravery? And how did the God of Ghoul thank you? Did you return to your mother? Or is your blood back to you? Join me, and we'll manage the world of darkness together. Evil sprouts have lost in your soul long ago, so let them grow. The Chosen, by killing the Dragon, he will completely destroy your evil. 
But the good cannot exist without the evil, just like there is no light without darkness. You have executed your mission. So it's B and X. We're gonna imprison the dragon with X. Dragon, you are not right. I don't need anyone's gratitude. By saving the world, I've been saving myself first of all. But what should I do with you? Unfortunately, the cutscenes you can't. The powers of good will grind the dragon back in a dungeon for 1,000 years, and balance of the world will be restored. Unfortunately, you can't skip the cutscenes here. But that'll get us the good ending achievement. And then we just have the bad ending left. See, positive ending chosen. Gotta admit, it's very pretty though. This game had a lot of flaws, but this positive ending, the city, well, I have saved the looks world. really nice. Damn, the dragon was right. Nobody in the world will learn about it. And I just had to write the scenario. He acts so smug. Okay, this is the second ending. I skipped the um, everything and just went straight to the dragon fight for years. I didn't see the point in doing the um, QTE and the collectible. I just went straight to the dragon fight. <laughs> get behind the dragon, which I unfortunately couldn't, because he decided to face me. So when you slice his legs, you slice his both legs. And there we go, we got him in one um, attack, whereas you know, on the good playthrough it took two. <laughs> Much quicker for you guys. So this time we want to hit B when we uh, choose the so we can choose the evil ending. You know, save the evil ending for last. It's always the most fun way to go. Okay, dragon, I will join the dark side. And this is the oh. last achievement of the game. So thank you for watching and listening to my guide. I appreciate you all. I uh, look forward to you talking to you all again soon for the next guide that you watch of mine. I've been in this chasm for too long. It has absorbed me, and while battling against monsters, I've become a monster myself. It is the last dead end in which I was driven by the destiny.